<clears throat> so I remember when I told you guys that I was going to do a screencast live on either Well, I'm still going to do both of them. I don't even know if I'm really going to even keep this one. But eventually, I'll do it over. Eventually, well, basically, I'm going to do two screencast lives. The one is going to be me going back and showing you the old footage of how traffic used to be day and night. I got to be, like, really bored and, you know, really my thought my thought process. My, I have to be really focused on it to do to do something like that. But the other one is going to be, I said I was going to do screen screenshots, show you the screenshots of the people who used to be around all the time. And again, remember when I'm saying around all the time, I mean like 24 hours of the day, three, four different vehicles sitting on the side of the road, driving up and down the uh, highway in the Walmart parking lot. We're in the Walmart parking lot in the Lowe's parking lot. We're in the Lowe's parking lot. And I want you to see how many people that since I had pictures of them now, and this is, isn't even half. These are just the ones I could find. And I don't know how many, it's like, I don't know how many um, pictures there are. We'll start from the beginning. Here's one I call out, but I always forget the name. I call it Risley Paul Duda, or I say, I say Risley Posley or something like that. I just want you to pay attention to these vehicles because, again, this is another vehicle who has more who who has multiple vehicles. This is just the one I could find that I had in a screencast. I mean, this is the one that I had a screenshot of. And I want you to pay attention to when you see these videos, when you see the rest of my videos, how many times we see this person a day. And if we even see them, period. Some of these people you won't even see, period. And you haven't even seen before. And you'll probably never see again. This is the guy that I always used to call the Bayside, or I used to call the bootleg Zach Morris because his name is Bayside. He was an electric supply company or whatever. He's another one who I've only seen in this specific van, or he's another one, but I've only seen him in this van. I've never seen him in anything other than this van right here. And again, that's why I gave them nicknames and called them out the way I did. And just think about how many times you'll see him in my future videos. Just think about how many times you've seen him in the past videos recently. And how many times you'll hear me say, they go, uh, the bootleg, they go Bayside, the bootleg Zach Moore. <clears throat> Damn, the bootleg Zach Moore's. That's what, this is the guy that I'm talking about when I say stuff like that. Aaron's is another company that used to just drive up and down the road. Sometimes didn't even hide it, just drive down the road, take a U turn, turn right back around and go down the road. And he's got multiple vehicles too, but this is the only one that I could find a, um, a screenshot of. Or the one, or this is the only one that I had a screenshot of. And the reason why I was screenshotting a lot of these in the videos, because the ones I knew were clear, I would always go back to my videos to get thumbnail pictures. And the ones that were very clear, I would just screenshot them and save them later in case I had to use them for a future video that they were in. But like, let's say they were in a video, but I didn't get a clear version of them. I would uh, keep in mind that I already took a screenshot of, of them and try to go back and use that clear screenshot on a video that I seen that I, um, saw them in like a current video that I saw them in, but didn't see them clearly, if that makes sense. This is Mr. Yarnique. And it's just another one of his vehicles. And just think about how many times I say him again, coming up in the future period. And this weird little vehicle, I think we saw him once in the last, uh, since day one. And we'll see how many times we see him past day one. This is a, a company right here who has completely disappeared. <laughs> now I want you to remember that these are companies and, and people and things that you that, that were have been in all of my past videos up and down the road. But they had all this legitimate business to do for a year for like a year or whatever, however long I've been doing it straight. And so, for some reason, we don't see them anymore. This dude right here used to jump out of the woods right there when we first come out of where where Funston and them always jump out at. He used to do the same thing. But for some reason, he's completely ghost. And we'll see how long. I don't think we've seen him since day one. But again, he used to be a main character up and down the road. I think there was two of them. I'm not 100% sure, though. But I damn sure know that it was, it was him. And again, when I mean main character and up and down the road and all the time, I mean at Wendy's, at Walmart, at Lowe's, at, you know, or going down the back road and we have to go down the back road. That, that's what I mean when I say uh, that main character or a billion times a day or something like that. I don't mean just riding up and down the road. I mean, just randomly in uh tractor supply parking lot or randomly in, um, what's that place called? Um, uh, 
a merger or merge ortha in um uh the eye woman's and eye same with Dixon's. We still see him, but not in this box truck. And he's actually has multiple vehicles as well. I think now we only see him in a van. But this guy was around so damn much. It was ridiculous. I'm surprised we even see him once as many times as we call all of his vehicles. But we still see him at least once a day. Sometimes twice a day, but no more than that. Compared to how we just see him in all these different vehicles just driving around on their little uh, safety nuts he has. Now, Michael and, uh, and Sun Services is one who I think has been popping up since day one. But um, I haven't uh, seen him lately, but maybe he'll be here on Monday. Some of them I'm not going to be too quick on. We'll probably, we'll probably still see him on Monday. But again, not in two different vehicles driving up down the highway and all in all the random parking lots that we go in. And, um, you know, he was in my neighborhood the other day. But he just usually comes by once or twice compared to, again, literally not playing 10 or 15 times a day. And that's what I, when I say that, I mean that. And I mean that about all of them. That's why you haven't seen this guy right here in a while. And you see every spectrum, if you look at my videos, you see every spectrum vehicle known to the man. There's another one on here that you haven't seen in a while. And, um, oh, I haven't seen in a while. I don't know if you guys have seen them, period. I don't remember what exactly channel these screenshots are from. I don't remember, I don't know if they're, what channels they're from. But either way, they're all the same videos, you know, even if they're not on the same channels. And they all show you the same things. This is what I mean by him. Used to, they used to do stuff like just sit on the side of the road. Him, Focus, uh, Duke Energy, and uh, all these people used to just sit on the side of the road randomly for a long, long time. And then you'll walk somewhere and all of a sudden they leave. And have to be down the road to Jordan now and stuff. They all, uh, and then like they had, Spectrum had multiple vehicles. Especially the one that you see now. That used to be the main one. But then you'll see him too. They all used to be main ones actually. But the main, main one would be the one that you see now. That you, you saw I think two or three times a day. Or yesterday, depending on what time it is. Pretty sure it's past 12. Um, but they used to, they had, used to have multiple vehicles. The one you see now, you'll see everywhere, like at the gas station and stuff. And some of them too, they'll just be randomly just pop up at the gas station or wherever you're at and then be there for, so, I used to stay there for a long time just to show you that they wouldn't have that much work to do or that much, they wouldn't even have to be at the gas station that long. Nobody would be, have to be at the gas station as long as I go there. And that's why I stayed there so long to show you, to show you how long, how that's the only reason why a lot of them are there. That's the Geek Squad in one of his many vehicles. And this is a vehicle you haven't seen much. I think you've seen a box truck, but it is another company that you used to see or uh, I used to see, some people can act like they don't have eyes to see, but they were really watching the videos like they claim they were watching the videos. This guy right here was another one that would pop up also in my neighborhood more than uh, once, like days in a row, or um, come down to the quarter sack near where I live at and just take a little uh, loop around the quarter sack and leave. And um, he has multiple vehicles as well. He used to have multiple vehicles as well. And just driving up down the road or just randomly in whatever parking lot we go to. But we don't see him too much anymore. Same with this guy. It's the same damn thing. Red Bull person. Think about how many. Now, I want you to remember how people say things haven't changed in my videos. But all of these cars right here you've seen in my videos. You used to see in all my older videos all the time. In the sense of what I'm telling you all the time. In the parking lot. I'm just trying not to be uh, repetitive. But in the parking lot up and down the road. So, again, when I say all the time, that's what I mean. Now, remember, there are people who claim they don't, that nothing has changed. They've been watching these videos forever and ever. You know, they see all these hours and hours of footage, but they haven't seen anything change. Now, I just want you to think about how many times you don't see this vehicle anymore. Professional builder supply. I want you to think about how much you don't see him anymore. And not only that, but trucks, uh, vans, and all that other stuff he got. Here's another one, Ryder, an 18-wheeler. We still see Ryder, but not too much in the 18-wheeler anymore. And again, how could you be watching videos for this long? You don't see it and you, and you miss an 18 wheeler like this and the other 18 wheelers just completely disappear from driving up and down the island. Copy pro copy pro is another one. And I don't know how long. I don't even think we've seen copy pro since day one, but look, who's right beside him. <laughs> so we'll see how long it's been. We'll see how many times we see him. Mr. Blue water plumbing plumbing. Even at nighttime, he would drop up and down the road in my older videos. There he goes to the Circle K, of course. And let's see how many times you see him. So how could if they watch another 18-wheeler right here that is just mysteriously, after being up and down the road and being in random parking lots, the Walmart parking lot, just mysteriously vanished, but there is no change in the videos. So, so, so They don't remember that. Sentis, <laughs> I don't think he's been here since day one. 
Like if you look at all the past stuff he did, and he has more vehicles than this as well. This is like some kind of you know FedEx type looking box truck, but he's have he's had pickup trucks, vans. He's got other things too. That used to always be it. Now I did this. Look at all three of some of our main characters. Top Shelf still is one of actually one of our main characters, but again he's even he's fallen off. Home Care once. Uh, once, but not as much as we used to, meaning all five of those cars that I show you where they like to park at or where they have to park at, driving up and down the road, just like WellCare used to have five cars that drove up and down the, wor uh, the world. It it, their asses was driving <laughs> up like they was driving all the way around the world, slow as they was driving. Um, and they were trying to pace themselves because they knew how to go all the way around the world on this plane. A few moves. Another company in two different box trucks that we used to see all the time. Let's see how long it takes, you to, to, it takes us to see him. This guy. Occasionally. But not at all as much as we used to see him. This guy. New Hanover County Sheriff. In and out of my neighborhood every day. I think we saw him once since day one. This guy, whatever he does, weird company. You see all the time in some kind of weird gas truck. But I don't think it's a gas truck since it says lubricant services. I think it's some kind of truck with, with lubricant in it. But it looks like it would be a gas truck. But it's like it looks like it would be like a mini gas truck. But I guess it holds lubricant. Oh, that's him again. Kent. Still see Kent once a day, I think, in a truck. But this is the other vehicle that he used to be up and down the road with. Spectrum, this is the other vehicle I was telling you about, the weird-looking Spectrum van. Not the one that you still see occasionally, but this is another one of his vehicles, and look where he's at in the low spark line. <laughs> Random box trucks like this, like tailored form, whatever he is, out at nighttime. Well, I don't know what the hell this is or what the hell he does, but he's got, like, all these companies on here. It says Advil, um, Huggies, uh, Kellogg's, and it says Experts right there, but I don't really know what he does. It says we deliver solutions. So I guess he does. I don't know really what he does, what he delivers, but this is a van you've never, you you haven't seen in, I don't think, I don't, I don't even know if any of you have seen him, period. Unless you watch, go back and watch. Yeah, I'd have to have been really, really watching. Unless he was on the Facebook Live. I don't really remember which one he was on. But anyway, that's why you don't ever see this van in here, this van out here anymore, period. This is the U-Haul lady in the van that you see occasionally, but not in the Walmart parking lot at nighttime and or just driving around at nighttime, actually, because we don't really go to the Walmart parking lot anymore, but just driving around at nighttime anymore. Writer. This is a guy who used to pop out. This is over there by the track supply. This one he used to pop out from the, not where the South Coastal painting is always at, but um, over there by the track supply right here. In between that building. Well, actually, yeah, sometimes when it, where the um, South Coast of Painting always uh, likes to hide that too. But I think we saw his truck lately, but we haven't seen him every day hiding in the cut, popping out. And then when we walk somewhere, all of a sudden, he's, you know, he's coming out of the cut mysteriously and then getting on the road. Evergreen. And a whole bunch of different, I think we saw him once since day one. But him in this one, in a longer 18-wheeler and... uh trucks and vans and just just random different vehicles with evergreen on it walmart <laughs> one of the most uh well-known and recognizable uh companies to anybody who watches any of my videos not day and night anymore not i don't know how i don't think we've seen walmart since day one we may have but i don't think we have but anyway He's completely disappeared. And again, think about how people claim to watch my videos, but they don't they don't notice all these 18 wheelers and, and stuff and people like Walmart disappearing. Now, I think we saw him today and he was the one I told you that never drove around without the EMS. It says American Ameramed. And I was like, you need to take a mirror out his name. He used to be riding him in the EMS. There used to be a time you never seen him or the EMS without each other. And another one day and night. Randomly in a low spark lot, stuff like that. Don't see him too much anymore either, but, you know, that was all regular traffic. Now, this is CDI, and this is another 18-wheeler that you used to see at nighttime. If you think about it, there, there are so many 18-wheelers who have vanished at nighttime, including Food Lion, Publix, uh, Family Dollar, uh, Dollar General. I think we've seen Dollar General once since day one. If you think about it, you don't even have to have watched any of my other videos to see that there are hardly any 18 wheelers driving around in Leland, North Carolina at night. You know why? Because that's the only reason why they were driving around. They started getting a load of somebody filming them because, again, occasionally I'll flip the screen or they'll see me at daytime. And um, as nosy as they all are, they find a, they're, they're in as many positions as they try to get into, 
when they do it enough times, they end up seeing that you are on YouTube, regardless if you flip the screen or not. And that's why they've given up. And CDI is the one who sailed through the damn uh, intersection fast as hell when all the other cars are driving slow as crap. And just think about how long it's been since you've see, you seen CDI. I think this is on the Cooper. I did this one on the Cooper channel, though. Log man. A whole bunch of different law men up and down the road. Him, I think there's another, the other law man with the, the laws cut in half. And, and for a summer, and all day, sometimes even that night, his ass be driving around. But, uh, yeah, like I said, they completely vanished because, again, that's the only reason they were on the road. And you get tired of just driving them down the road just to be put on YouTube, especially when you're wasting gas and just driving from one parking lot or, one, you know, driving to Wilmington or something and then driving back to the little uh port because they have ports like 18 wheeler not necessarily ports but there's a exxon where all these 18 wheelers can go and park at over there past the exxon that we usually go to which is way down the road and a lot of them started hiding there um after they got done they, they got tired of being on youtube and leland so they started hanging around i think it's still considered leland the, the next exxon but either way um they got tired, so they started going over there. And the way I know how I know that and notice that is because when I would go do jobs over there, I would see every single one of them sitting over at, over there at that port, or having to come into the port right on time, you know, right right on time, or jumping out when we're trying to come past the road that's by that gas station. We're trying to go do a job and just sit there and get in the way. And they just I do private live drives and i'll be recording them and even though my boss didn't really know what i was doing they knew what i was doing and that's why they would some of them would pop out and then just sit there. Some of them would pop out at just enough time to cut you off. But when they see it's the camera guy, they wouldn't do it. And again, or they, they don't do it. They'll just sit there and, you know, they'll look, sit there on the corner looking down, even though ain't nobody coming. They can go left or right. They'll usually go left. Like if, if they, usually they come to pop out to go right to get in front of you to slow you down. But when they see it's the camera guy after they pop out, some of them don't know, so they just pop right out. They'll sit there after we pass. And then even though they were planning on going right to cut us off, they'll just sit there for a little bit looking down and then go left. And then you get enough, you, once you get enough of that, and it's always the same guy coming around filming you. You know, regardless of even if you don't have a life, you have to have be a person who has no life, period. Like a mega no life haver. You'll end up giving up. Once you see that it, it's the same thing and you're wasting your time. And you'll end up doing better things. And it goes Crawley again. All right, we we see him occasionally, but that's why you don't see him too much. And you remember the last time you did see him, he was in a different one. But he used to be in multiple vehicles like this. I mean, multiple uh, cabs or uh, 18 wheelers just driving up and down the road all day long, all day, every day, even at night. But you don't see that anymore. But again, people can't see 18 wheelers that completely disappeared. Same with this guy. I don't know what he does, medics. But uh, that, just think about if you've ever seen him. And then think about if you, um, since you've been watching my videos, and think about how much you're going to see him now um, um, in the future. And if he had all that uh, legitimate work that he had to do around us, then where the hell is he going? Him too. I think we saw him twice since day one. But another one, watch all the other past videos instead of, uh, you know, yourself, instead of listening to what people say. You'll see how many times this guy used to drive around with the other guy in the box truck. And how he would always be at Circle K every time we went to Circle K. Or if not every time, just about every time. If not, at Circle K driving by Circle K. Random Duke Energy sitting in the Walmart parking lot at night. And, or driving up and down the road at night. Somehow this completely disappeared because Duke Energy always got always has things to do in vehicles like this at nighttime, especially in little uh, country hick towns like Leland, North Carolina. But if he did, again, for the thousandth time, why don't we see him anymore? Leland PD, this is him in the uh, merger or a merger ortho, a merge ortho parking lot, just sitting there. How oh, I don't see that anymore. South Coast of Payton, even though we're on another side of town at nighttime. There he goes. <laughs> And again, he'll fall off. You won't be seeing him too much anymore either. And now we got another one at nighttime the, that you would, that you, remember when I told you you would see them at nighttime? You will see the mailman at pitch at black time. Here's another one. I don't know. Oh, what, is it? what is it? US or UPS, U or some, some junk. I, you can tell by what, what it is. I mean, by the uh, lettering and the symbol or whatever. And that's why he'd be out. If you look in the back, it's basically almost nighttime back there. And that's why you don't see him period anymore, especially, well, you, I think you saw him once or twice in the last, since day one. And even though, and even the one that we did saw, or, or, or that we did see, did something suspicious and had to be down one way and we were there and, you know, just driving up down the road. But only, only uh, they only did it twice though. 
and it used to be more than that, a whole, it would be a fleet of their asses, just like the, uh, there used to be a fleet of Miss Frizzles, but that doesn't happen anymore, but it was, but it had to, you know, they had stuff to do, legitimate, they had legitimate stuff to do, it used to happen all the time, and they had all this legitimate stuff to do, and you can't do anything about, you can't say anything about weather change, or, you know, anything, because these are the type of services that they are, um, provide all the time, so it wouldn't, if they had all that, work to do they would still be doing it solidly they wouldn't have just fallen off completely like that especially sometimes with five five of their asses in a vehicle at nighttime just driving up and down the road with a group of people slow as hell another one that you probably will not see he has another vehicle but this is the guy all you gotta do is look at that that, that little um whatever uh, it is his signature or whatever that's why you don't ever see him anymore and it's another, uh, it looks like an as below, uh, as above, so below type symbology, but I doubt, I don't know, maybe he didn't, maybe there's something, a uh, bigger corporation, maybe this is a bigger corporation I just don't know anything about, and that was their symbology, which they probably don't know anything about, but either way, this guy used to be around all the time, I and mean, he actually used to pop out from the neighborhood across the street that I've been um, uh, ending my lives on and standing right there in the light so they can all just drive by. He actually, you, I thought he lived there for a minute, but that's why you don't see him anymore, day and night servicemen see him occasionally but you don't see him day and night you don't see all three of them the black one this white one there's another version of this one that's white but um as far as the vehicle color and, and stuff goes that's why he doesn't do anything see him anymore and he used to just see him driving down the road and people could use the excuse well maybe he's you know on a lunch break and maybe he's so and so and so but again if all of that was true then he should he should, we should still see him as much as we used to already showed Walmart, but I don't, so I don't know why I did this one. This is like an album I made, and it's and I didn't even find all of the screenshots that I had. There's still way more, but um, oh yeah, I showed you this to show you how many times they were all out together, like FedEx and Walmart. Every single comp every single one of them would be right up in the lineup at the same time, like this. But there would be more people. This is when I think some of them started falling off. But it would be Walmart, FedEx, uh, Geico, Duke Energy, which is another one who was falling off for some reason that we see all the time. Uh, Geico is what I meant to say, and Duke Energy. But I, when I said who fall off, when I said is which is another one I was talking about, Geico. Um, but this is how they always used to be out. Them, no man, and everything. Just driving like this. Every company, like I said, no the man, no matter what time we we went on to the highway. Just like no matter what time we go on to the highway now, you see the same uh, characters be on that stretch of the highway. It used to be the same exact thing, but it used to be with all of these companies. Now, keep in mind, people say they don't they don't remember any of this stuff that I'm showing you right now. They don't remember. So I'm refreshing their memory and I'm showing you firsthand that you're not going to see these vehicles anymore. So let, let's say it was just you, you want you might see them occasionally, but you won't see them half as much as you two, including MPI. And again, I'll go and show you how many different makes of vehicles, vans and trucks he has and how many. Um, and they used to be out just as much as FedEx, which even is kind of falling off a little bit. FedEx is actually falling off now, but Carolina is another one. Our good old buddy from Carol, our good old buddy Carolina. That's why you don't see him in his truck too much anymore. I don't think we've seen him period in a while. Then he has the box truck, and then he has the van. And again, that's what I mean by in random stuff. He's going to the lows, but, but you know, he's on lunch break, all this stuff to do. You don't see him anymore, period. You still see Carolina occasionally. I think we saw the box truck in the Lowe's parking lot, but I think it was before day one. But either way, what I'm trying to tell you is they don't remember all this, but I'm showing you these cars now so that you can see none of them are going to show up. Well, some of them will occasionally, but not as much as they used to. And then eventually you will hardly see them any, um, any, you will hardly see them period unless they got legitimate business uh, to do. And even then they'll probably still be looking dumb because they'll be like, Oh, I got my chance, my opportunity. I'm just, uh, uh, conveniently here. And so they'll still probably drive dumb, which doesn't even make any sense because, <laughs> They'll still get their company name online, but in, in their minds, it makes sense. They will probably will not be, even when we see them again, they probably will not be driving the speed limit. And then it'll just take some, like I said, more conditioning before they don't do it at all. And they just get rid of the stupid app. Another one has to go into Lowe's with the dump truck, man. Going in and out of a place that doesn't need any dirt and everything like that. But then again, they'll say that, you know, he needed lunch and stuff like that. But if that's the case, why don't we see dump trucks like him in the Lowe's parking lot anymore, period? U.S. Foods, another one that fell off. Look at the U-Haul man right behind him. That's what I mean by they would all be out at the same time. The little mini U-Haul man, which believe it or not, even though we saw, I think we saw him tonight. 
I think it was on the other night. Still nothing compared to how much we really used to see him. And the mini one, the big one, the van, the truck, all these you all people used to have to be out just driving up and down the road. But for some reason, they're not out anymore. U.S. Foods used to be in an 18 wheeler too. And that's why you don't see him too much anymore. And his ass would be every time you go to the Lowe's, he'll, he'll have to drop something off at Lowe's. Every single company I'm telling you about would have to drop something off at Lowe's when we were at Lowe's. And then all of a sudden, we'll go to Walmart. And all of them got something to do at Walmart, including the UPS man and the FedEx man. Every damn time. Right, we saw him the other day at Wendy's. And like I said, we don't see him too much anymore. But he's got multiple vehicles too. And the one time that we did see him at Wendy's, he made a fool out of himself. This is a south, uh, Southeastern. This is a Novant car. I was telling y'all about. But we see all day, gun, uh, all day, every day. I don't know why. Um, I did this because I had him in the last screenshot with few moves. Oh, yeah, because if you think about it, he has to always come where we're at to go to the Novant place. But then when we were always on the highway, him and every single other Novant car that you saw over there that's just like this, and I believe there's five of them all in whole, were never over there when I used to walk over there on the uh, videos. And I used to walk and show you that none of them are over there. But whenever, um, you know, we we're on the highway, every single one of them were on the highway, and then none of them were over there. But then occasionally, but then they, was, they would all slowly have to file in and remember they got to be over there again by where they're at, they usually park at. Another law, man, that just completely disappeared. But again, people who have watched my videos have not, can't, don't have any common sense to know that if this dude and all the other logmen had all legitimate business as much as they did, which I know that they didn't, there's no damn way that they could have that much business with them damn logs just driving up and down the road, up and down the highway, slow with a group of people. If they truly watch my videos, they will remember people like this. Or, and, and, and they would notice now how it, it doesn't make any sense that he would have completely disappeared. Same with Med 1. Med 1 used to be at night and stuff, too, driving up and down the road. And I think we still do see him occasionally, but not every day. We don't see Med 1 every day. There was, again, a time on this damn channel that you didn't that you would see him way more than once a day. Then you start seeing him like three times a day. Then you start seeing him like twice a day. Then you start seeing him like once a day. Now you're seeing him like once a week, and then eventually you, won't, you probably won't see him, period, either. One hour. Another one's got a billion different uh, cars. And of course, I'm exaggerating. But a truck, a box truck, a van. And I think there's something else he has. And uh, again, we, he had all the legitimate business to do around us day and night in whatever parking lot we were in. But you don't see him too much anymore. Cheney Bros. Another one. Who has, I think, another vehicle, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know he has this one, and then he has an 18 wheeler. This is like a short one, but he's got like an eight, a bigger one. And they always be just like with the rest of them, driving as slow as they can, up and down the damn highway. Even at nighttime, he'll just pop up randomly. For some reason, just think about how many times since uh, day one you've seen him. Not once, period. And if you, you want to be somebody who actually has sense, then... Go back and look at all the other videos and see how much he used to pop up. And there is no excuse for why he wouldn't still be popping up the same amount of times if he he had legitimate business to do. Same with timeless. See how many times you're going to see how many times you're going to see me call these people's uh, names out and these companies out and stuff like that. Otis, I think he was here since day, one time since day one. But anyway, again, another one you don't see too much anymore. And I think he has another vehicle, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But I know he has this vehicle and I know that I called him out. One day, I'm not sure if it's before day one or after day one, but I know I called him out. No van, day and night. Occasionally there, but day and night. He used to be with a group of people, day and night, driving slow up and down the road. Him, like, I, I'm trying to, I can't even explain to you the madness of what this used to be like compared to what it is now. That's why I always can get close enough and get pictures of them because that's the only reason why they come around. Like I told you, and try to get as close as they can because that's a part of a little stupid safety Nazi program. This is the, you don't see this uh, FedEx. We see FedEx occasionally. But for some reason, you don't see this one right here, period, anymore. He used to be the main one you used to see all the time. I, and that's the one I used to say, well, he don't even like he worked for FedEx. And that's why you don't see him anymore. He would be right there where South Coastal Painting is all the time. We, where, where we're, whenever we come out of the neighborhood, and he would be sitting there and always have to leave right when we're coming out of the neighborhood or pulling up somewhere and then just stopping. And they always, they were so obvious. They would all just pull up somewhere and stop. And they were all they had to be somewhere and then pull out from the crack where South Coast of Painting them were always at when we first start our videos. And then just sit there, obviously. And I want, again, where South Coast of Painting is always at. I want you to day by day, since day one in uh, 
if you want to go back and look even further than that, I want you to see how many, how much that's clearing up with all these companies that had to be over there all the time. No event, another one we see occasionally, but not day and night, all day and night, even in, even in random parking lots. And look at him again back there on a, in, in the picture behind him, who was in the, the same dude that you see, you still see, he still ain't going to give it up. It, that was in the uh, picture I showed you uh, uh, with copy, bro. It's MT. It's a close-up version of him. I showed you him sitting back there where he used to sit back, but again, or, or the other day where he was sitting, but not a million times and not in a box truck and not just driving up and down the road. But again, he had all his legitimate business to do. Same with him, fell off. I think we saw him twice, though, since day one. But I doubt we'll be seeing him too much, but you never know. This is the other one who we used to see day and night. This be randomly in a parking lot or whatever. And that's why you don't see him too much anymore. But again, like I said, you'll see him occasionally, but not day and night with a group of people. Piggly Wiggly. Day and night, right up and down the road with this vehicle. Think about how many times you've seen this vehicle. Publix, day and night. Focus, sitting on the side of the road, knowing there ain't even no focus work to be started over there at this time. This picture was taken a long time ago when he had absolutely no, they weren't even ready for focus to come in and do anything. But there he goes with the cones. And that's what he used to do on just about every corner. But for some reason, he doesn't do that anymore. But he had all legitimate business to do. Just like in the back of that road. Remember that long road I went down by the pickle, well, not the long road, but the place by the pickle place. And all those two guys from focus were sitting on the side of the road back there. That's why they were doing that, and that's why he's doing this right here, and that's why you don't see this anymore. Another one, again, that used to drive up and down the road day and night. And some people, that, and a lot of people who claim to watch our videos, they don't even don't even remember seeing this guy once. Redbox Plus. Is that a damn portal party? Isn't Redbox like where you drop off the movies? Well, either way, it don't matter what it is. What I'm trying to tell you is they claim they don't – they don't see all the stuff, stuff that is like this, that is very noticeable, completely disappearing from my from my uh, videos. And there's a PSG I caught a million times, not only in Leland, but in Wilmington. And he gets in the way and sets up cones and uh, takes up. He'll put t uh, 50 million cones down a road that don't need to be that they don't need to be down just to have somebody back up a wagon and turn around and leave and again that's on his channel and this is what this screenshot is from is, is from the day that he did that and you won't believe how ridiculous it was they were all coming down this is the going down the road remember when i sit on the um what is it the side of or when I said the Wendy's intersection and I show you where they go down that 45 mile, come up from and go down that 45 mile an hour road. Well, this is that road during the daytime on one of the Facebook lives I did. And the traffic was backed up all the way to the highway. And you had a school uh, or you had all these cones sitting in the middle of the road. And and that's, again, thinking about think about the cones and stay alert and all the scorpion and all of them. Think about how they've completely disappeared. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to keep reminding you, you know, you, just just so, you know, the people think they're smart. They can't see the they can't see this, right? But you can see it. PSG, like I said. Um, and he got tired of even when I went to Wilmington driving by, putting the camera in his face, doing private live drives with my boss and stuff. And other people that once you come driving by, they got a little safety Nazi alert trying to get in the way. They'll um try to go to their car and, you know, out like they got to be wherever you're at or nearest to whatever side of the car that you're on. If you're out of line of sight vantage point, they want to get back in line of sight vantage point to look at you. Um, you know, and like I said, they, these people got some type of nerve. But um, they put all these cones out, and then I went down to just prove that there was nothing going on. And he took up, like, almost half a mile of cones. And I went down there to see what, what the ruckus was about, you know, what the holdup was. And it was all to see somebody, one of his dudes in a trailer. Well, not one of his dudes, but somebody from some other company. Literally turn the trailer around. And that was all it was. And, again, this is another person who was unmistakable disappearing from my videos this is the damn fire marshal and this is him at the place where the other safety guys like to go where the band was playing tonight that, that's him in there and if you go look at this video or if you ever come across it you'll see all the crazy stuff that he did that night he was just sitting there in this parking lot didn't get out pulled up and just randomly parked there right at nighttime didn't get out period i was watching him the whole time that's why i got this close to get it that's not a picture i don't know if i used it or not though and then i went to the intersection pops right back out just like the rest of them there's Martin, who we used to see all day, every day, especially on the uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook Live uh, night drives and stuff like that. I mean, um, I only used to see him at night. Now, again, this is, a, is an 18-wheeler. 
who has from us going out there on the Facebook series, sitting over there by the muffler shop and watching them drive by, he has completely disappeared. But they don't see that. He had a legitimate reason for driving up down the road at night in this 18-wheeler. But we don't see him anymore. But I guess apparently, like I said, they still see this 18-wheeler. They still see mad 18-wheelers out at night. But for some reason, you and I don't see it. If you have any type of common sense. Another company that you haven't seen since day one. Another company you haven't seen since I've been back on this channel, matter of fact. I don't even know what he does. Never even heard of him. That's why I didn't even use the thumbnail picture. I was like, nobody really knows, you know, who this is. So it wouldn't bring in any attraction or views or anything like that, which, again, this ain't really what it's about. But I, I like to put them well-known, more well-known uh, companies and stuff. But think about, have you ever, have you ever seen this car, this truck right here in my videos? Have you ever? How long has it been since you've seen this, uh, this, this Penske uh, uh, van out at night? And what the hell would this Penske person have to be uh, have to do out at night this time of night, just in the Walmart parking lot, going to the teller, <laughs> and over here by the Lowe's when we're at the Lowe's, just sitting in the Lowe's parking lot? What happened to this guy? He also needs to use the ATM. <laughs> what happened to the fire truck driving up and down the road at nighttime? Look at his big old uh, computer. This is the unmarked slime ball that we, should, that we used to see all night, every night. Why don't we see him on the corner? You can tell because that's his little, if you look close right here, that's his little light right there. His little spotlight or whatever. Why doesn't he hang out in the merger, um, in the merge ortho parking lot in the, in between that and the Wilmington Eye, what, over there in that parking lot anymore and, and jump out from the camper place anymore? If that was just a regular thing and it didn't have anything to do with him coming out there uh, on a you know on his little crime his real time computer he don't even really need an app but they still all have apps so he's got a little real time crime computer type thing and they get notifications too why don't we see this guy anymore why don't we see this guy anymore much as we used to we still see the other one this is the new Hanover County Sheriff that we see everywhere we still see the other one in the car but for some reason he has completely disappeared even though he's a jump out of my neighborhood just like the state trooper did. Just like all the rest of them did. I don't think we've seen him since day one. So how is it that we can... Um, you can notice, even just by looking at these screenshots and me telling you about these people, how come you can notice, or, or how come you're going to notice if you go back to day one and look further, or look um, and continue to watch past this, how can you notice that you that none of these people are around anymore, but people who supposedly watch my videos don't notice that these people aren't around anymore? You see what I mean by people think they're smart and they have common sense, but really they don't really pay attention to uh, the things that they think they're so smart about. And if they really paid attention, then they, then they would see that all these people are completely gone. But they, again, have been around for years and it wouldn't be that they don't they just stopped having work. You don't just go for years doing all this stuff and all of a sudden you stop having to work. What happened to him at the Lowe's parking lot and the Walmart parking lot? Have you ever seen the Salvation Army guy in any of my videos? Lately, period. So why do we used to see him day and night every time we went to the Walmart here had to go check pick up that little bin? And he still they're, they're, they still have that little drop-off bin place or whatever in the Lowe's parking lot where we also caught him at day and night. So where where has he where has he gone? If we, if every time we used to go over there, he always used to be over there, but for some reason he's not over there anymore. Just like the Goodwill and all the rest of them that I didn't find any screenshots on. But again, they had a legitimate business in the, those box trucks driving up down the road. So if they did, why are they not still doing it? Here's no vent. This is more proof of no vent driving up and down the road at nighttime for no damn reason. Every damn night, just driving up and down the road for no reason with a group of people slow. Here's O'Brien, and O'Brien's got multiple vehicles as well. And I think we saw him once since day one. But again, not nothing compared to anything that we used to see him coming out of my neighborhood, going into my neighborhood, at Lowe's, at Walmart. Every time you go over there, every company known the man will be over there. Same with A plus, we still see him occasionally, but not in all his not in all three of his vehicles doing the same thing that I've been said. Or that I've been saying the same thing I said about O'Brien driving up down the road with a group of people slow, like he's driving up down the road slow with O'Brien in the rain and being at Walmart, Lowe's, and all this other stuff. Here's FedEx at night, and this is what the traffic look used to look like at night every night. And actually, it'll be more than this. There'll be used to be more people close up on their uh, bumper 
all driving slow. And again, there's no way that he could have any type of packages delivered and leaving North Carolina at night that many times a night in this city. You have to be a complete, uh, you just have to be completely ignorant or just completely stupid to not understand that there's no way that it, that, that would always happen. And you see that line of uh, lights right there? He used to be in a group with people like that, him and the UPS man at nighttime. That's low every day. See how they're all even clawed up right here? That's what he used to do all the time. And you see him a thousand times a day and a thousand times at night, but even he is falling off. People who have been watch really watching my videos and observing, they know that. But again, the people who will lead you to believe that, that I'm crazy and they're smart, they don't know that. But again, for the thousand times, they've been watching my videos. They've got a quadrillion, they've watched the thousands and thousands of hours of my videos and they have seen no results. They have seen uh, no change in the traffic flow and they have seen absolutely no change in the characters that we used to see all day, every day. Like I said, so we'll continue. I just want you to see how ridiculous that sounds. I want you to see how ridiculous their claims sound. And even watching this video or commenting on this video, they'll make a joke because that's all they can do is make a joke because they don't want to admit that there was nobody crazy. They weren't truly paying attention. And they just wanted to seem smart. If they were truly paying attention, they would remember all these things that I'm telling you now. And all these same characters will, will, should pop up tomorrow. It will not, maybe not tomorrow, because I think tomorrow or today, depending on what time it is, I'm pretty sure it's Sunday. If not this today, tomorrow, they should all pop up on a Monday because they all would have all that, all, all of them all together at the same time would have legitimate business down the damn road where there ain't nothing that, where there's a bunch of sticks and stones and woods and gas stations and places like Hardee's and Bojangles that are far, 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 far spread out. They would still be doing that uh, to, uh, tomorrow or considering tomorrow since it is Sunday or not so not to confuse anybody on Monday they should all do this again they should all be still doing that watch out they won't be or maybe occasionally was that the last one and again I didn't even find all the this was the I'll do another one on this to because there's so many characters that I've already that I've missed and so many um or you know ones that I couldn't find but I'll go back and Eventually do another screencast like this to, again, show you the ridiculousness of what people say versus what I'm what I'm showing you. Now, I can even show you on these thumbnail pictures on this on this channel right here, the channel that we're on right now. I go right down to the bottom. And again, and show you how why. And show you why they don't, the reason why they don't see any difference, even though they should if they are watching the videos on the Cooper channel. I mean, you can, I, I just, you can't, you, I cannot put into words what it used to be like. I can't even put it in words to make, to, for you to even get a good picture or to imagine what it truly used to look like. For you to like to understand how ridiculous it was and how many of them there used to be. As a sheriff hanging out the muffler shop. No damn reason at nighttime when the junk is under construction. He got something to do better though. Um and again, think about the police presence. And think about you saw Mr. Uh Navassa police. I think I might have saw him one time, but I don't really remember seeing him uh in the past, but I saw him twice a day. But still don't see all the other ones, like I told you. And that's them again at nighttime driving stupid. Uh but I'm trying to see. Wilmington PD at night in a Walmart. You don't ever see him doing that anymore, but he had legitimate business for doing that. State trooper right here popping out of my neighborhood. That's him right here popping out of my neighborhood on the one that says losers in Leland, North Carolina. See Luke part one. That's him jumping out of my neighborhood. And that's how I many he used to do it all the time. Um, Miss Frizzle. Again, watch out. She'll completely disappear or you'll just see her occasionally. They, they've been stopping lately. And like I said, people know good and damn well they have. They ain't no good and damn well they used to be around all the time, but they're not going to admit it. And there's a random car. It's like, this is a ghost car right here. And the, the one that says the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office and their minions in Leland, North Carolina, that's a ghost car. Um, and that's after they took my plates. They took my plates on this video right here. It says Brunswick County Sheriff taking my uh, bait car plate. 
And I basically just got some more bait and then started driving again. And so, but they all thought, you know, somebody was off the road. So then they started being more bold. You'll see uh, two state troopers at Arby's when we go over there, then leaving when they think we're leaving. Then you got the ghost car right here in the Arby's, but that's him in the Arby's parking lot. It's the Leland PD on the, in the medians. Again, that's why you don't see this anymore. Him sitting up, them on the medians like that. Or at daytime with their, I mean, at nighttime on the, in the middle of the medians with their lights off. And like I said, every, um, um, uh, every city does it. And that's why the garbage man at Wilmington in, in this Wilmington, that's a Wilmington gar garbage man. And this is the Leland, or this is the Wilmington fire truck guy who I bet you once we start going back over there and doing series over there, you won't see them anymore. And you look at this, keeping freedom alive in America. See Luke one day at a time. That's the state trooper and the sheriff. That's all they all, that's, that, that's how much they always used to be around. And here go to Wilmington PD. And that, they took my bait tag. Uh, they, this is one, the, the one that says New Hanover County police taking my bait car plate at whatever number they took it at. That's uh, them sitting on the side of the road doing their little setup too. And uh, that's why when we, once we start doing a series over there, it might take a little bit of conditioning, but you won't see them anymore. So you see the same things in each city. The police officer sitting on the side of the road, the dump truck, I mean, the garbage man just randomly at uh, Hardee's <laughs> having to get something to eat or whatever. Where I forgot where I was at right there. I know I was at a, fa I know I was at a fast food restaurant. The fire truck popping out right here. That's the Wilmington Fire Department popping out at Greenfield Lake <laughs> when I went to Greenfield Lake. And there was a geek squad in the box truck. And he used to be in many... Uh, more vehicles than that. There's a sheriff on the side at Walmart, which he doesn't do anymore, but he had a legitimate reason to be doing that every time we were over there. Uh, this is how full the McDonald's parking lot used to be, and we'll go back down there, and I'll show you how it's not going to be like that anymore. FedEx always around, sheriff. Walmart safety Nazi right there. That's what another right here. This is the, how they used to follow me around. I, and this is me going into stores and showing you how they used to try to keep eyes on somebody in the store and stuff like that. Uh, UPS man in the rain playing around, but more important, uh, Amerigas. So you, you, I think we saw him once since day one, but that's him in this picture, the safety squad in Leland, North Carolina. That's him in the EMS together. <laughs> Social distance driving again with a, one of our regulars just driving up and down the highway for no reason, slow as hell. Anyway, DHL man, that's why you don't see him too much anymore, day and night. Uh, still see the EMS, but not too much. Well, not as much as used to, anyway. State trooper out like he had to be at Walmart out at night. You know, like he runs something just because he's a state trooper. That way you don't see random stuff like this all day and night, like this bus. They think they're watching me, part three. Um, that's why you don't see random stuff like that driving up and down the road anymore. This is Greyhound again. That's why you don't see him. I think we saw him once since day one. Uh, and sometimes you see him at I don't think I've ever seen Greyhound, Greyhound at night. Um, But that's one of his buses and then the other one that we used to see all day, every day. But again, Totally disappeared, but nobody has. But the people were watching my videos for years and years and years. They didn't notice Greyhound completely disappear almost. And you all, man, pulling the empty thing over there at the um, in the middle of the Walmart parking lot that time of night, knowing the U-Haul place is right across the street. Um, food lying at nighttime, who you don't see anymore a million times a day. WWAY3, that's the state trooper hanging out in the damn Walmart parking lot. Even him with these cars. Actually, I think we still see him occasionally. That's the Wilmington PD at the gas station, pulling up at a gas station right here on Thanksgiving Day Losers. And again, go look at part one of Thanksgiving Day Losers, and you'll see them, Alan. They got to work over there at that damn gas station on Thanksgiving. And I look at him. See on Night Show Part 3? How long has it been since you've seen him at night driving around in that? In that uh, that's what I used to call Mr. Christmas Tree Lights. Wild show is a good one if you want to go on your own to see the difference between the traffic of now and what it used to be like. What they were doing right there was fake. The two Leland PD sit on the side of the road. And you go back and, and it's a little bit in the beginning. If you go back and watch what they did, even the people that they were supposed to help them, they, was, they weren't doing anything. And once they saw me talking about them, putting the camera on, they all just left because there was nothing wrong. There was no, there was no any reason for them to be there other than they got. Or that's part of their super program. Anyway, here's Cheater that we don't see anymore driving around at nighttime, just up and down the highway. Now again, eighteen wheelers at nighttime have completely disappeared, and, so, and a lot of these eighteen wheelers in the daytime have completely disappeared. But it, you know, they didn't see the traffic. They didn't see the. They don't see the difference. So again, like I said, I want to see if you can see the difference. Sheriff at night, we still see him occasionally though. Fire truck, that's why he's always. That's why. I, that's why I'm able to get thumbnail pictures like that of him that close because he just randomly pops out like that. <laughs> 
another uh the sheriff i was telling you about going into my neighborhood that we don't see anymore and just completely uh is ghost but he had all the legitimate work to do around us more of how much the leland pd used to drive around more of how um no van used to drive up and down the road at nighttime. Brinks is another one, but we still been seeing him, but not as much as lately him and the other Brinks just driving up and down the road. And people thought that was a joke, but that's why they were doing it. And this is the Spectrum guy that you don't see too much anymore either. YouTube Live Pre-Show Part 1. Um, Where is it at? Or what other, well, I mean, what else I going to say next? He's not around anymore, basically. Him look, him and Brinks are not around anymore as much as they used to be. More Leland PD out at night. Hardly see him. I think we saw him, what, once a night? Now you got focus in this uh, vehicle right here. And I believe, well, I think we see him occasionally. But that's why you don't see him as much as you used to. And just think about how much you haven't seen him since day one, I don't think. And you probably won't see them in the future too much anymore uh, or in the future uh, period either. Now, <clears throat> um, I believe things like this, like these stuff, like being close up like that is and doing this occasion uh, or all the time and putting, you know, their company names online. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they don't do a lot of this stuff anymore. And that's the only but that's the only reason why they were doing it in the first place. Oh, man, that's ironic. You see the one that says the Truman Show part one. That's the guy who got robbed at um, um, Lowe's and got a uh, pistol whip and got his car stolen. I'm only just saying this because you got you can't really see his face, but that's him right there. I don't want to embarrass him, man, but that's him. Um, and then again, this is our good old buddy Carolina. And just think about how many times you've seen him lately, and how many times you're going to see him in the future. And if it may, if he had, again for the thousand times, I'll say a million times, because for real, you got to say stuff to people who think they're smart, but they they can't comprehend simple common sense. That's why you don't see him anymore. That's why you don't see him as much as uh, you used to see him anymore. For the thousand down. That's why you don't see him driving up and down the road anymore. For the thousand down. That's why you don't see him in multiple vehicles anymore for the thousand time. That's why you don't see this FedEx guy, period, anymore. I take it back what I said about the other one. This is the one um, that I said um, looks like he don't even work at FedEx. And that's why he used to be. All, all, that's where he's at right now is over there by where South Coastal Painting is or usually is. And that's why you don't see a clutter. That's why you don't see all that alleyway cluttered up no more like it used to be. It used to be so cluttered it wouldn't be funny when you walk over there. It would all act like it was a festive event and all their dumbasses had to be over there at the same time just sitting in the way, just caught up over there. You'll see it less and less and less and, and then eventually it'll completely disappear. There's no way South Coastal Paint would have to be over there every day and it take them that long to paint all that stuff. You don't have to paint. There's no way they will be there from, you know, 5 or 30 or 6 o'clock in the morning until nighttime because it really takes them that long to paint all that, all these things over there. I don't care how much is over there. It wouldn't take you that long. And if you knew you had and if you knew that you had to paint all that stuff, you're not going to sit there until nighttime every night. And I, I, like it's that like it's that desperate to be done knowing you can just come back the next day. Like I said, listen to the common sense versus what people, other people say. It don't make sense, period. Here's another guy you don't see. Uh, any more period mr panther think about how many times you've seen him and then again look at you see you, you see uh when it says when the um you see the title of the video that says when will they learn part one that's another time that's how much i used to catch this vehicle the male people whoever they are associated with the male people at night and that day just driving them down the road now again i want you to think about how many times you've seen how many times you've seen them and that panther guy, I used to catch him too in the live drives and walking. And just think about how many times you've seen this panther truck right here. And again, that's him at Wendy's. And that's why when I came to Wendy's, I got that close. And that's when I do stuff like that, that's the whole reason why they stopped showing up. Because this car is very noticeable. And nobody like him wants to be seen on YouTube like that. That's why you don't see him anymore. And here go Hubbard Supply. Again, look at all that clutter right there on I Want Peace Part 1. Look at all that clutter back there. That's the cutter I was just telling you about. And look at how look, look at how every day it gets less and less and less, but all of them had to be back there for as long as they had to be back there. Tell you the truth, a lot of this stuff that they're doing, they could have been done. All this stuff could have been open, and, uh, open, but they like to go around and procrastinate. They really do. They procrastinate so hard, it's not even funny. And think about how many times you've seen Hubbard from Supply right here. That's the one that the truck that's right there. And um, what he did was he was in the bag and then he just... Uh, parked right there and that's what i meant by they'll be in the back and they'll act like they gotta leave and then they'll just park right there and sit right there that's exactly what he did in his thumbnail picture 
And that's another thing that don't make any sense that he would have to do that and then stop. He thinks somebody's stupid that we believe or that I, someone like me will believe that he did that because he has to do something else. I know good and damn well that if he was moving, that means he had to leave. He didn't drop stuff off there and then have to pull up and then drop stuff off here. Everything he dropped off, was, it would have to be in the back. That's even if his dumb ass even dropped off anything in the back, period, and wasn't just back there. And just think about how many times he jumped out from that same exact spot. You know, the GFL, man. That's how much he used to be around. You know, the Moines Plumbing. For some reason, you don't see him in a pickup truck anymore. Always having to go into my neighborhood whenever we're sitting on the corner over there. The Moines Plumbing and that damn pickup truck would always have to go down my neighborhood. And this is the Moines Plumbing, which I think we saw once since day one. He used to ride too deep in these vans, this van right here. And that's what I mean by stuff like uh, they have multiple vehicles. And if they had all that um, plumbing work to do, just like Terminex and all the other termination people, they would still be on the road. They would still be driving up and down the road. Now, you see all of them right there? In that um, app heads extra show, excuse some of my early language. That is the way that the traffic at night used to be. Used to be. This is what, and, and I'll go and watch the actual video footage to show you the actual vi video footage. That's what it used to be. Even and, and they would all drive extra, extra slow, and they just again got new. I guess they figured out how stupid they looked doing it, so they stopped. But this is how the traffic really used to be. And I'll go through videos like this. Like I'm doing this video, which I'm going to do another one just like this to show you the screenshots. But uh, I'll do another video like this, a, a screencast live. Um, but this is a private screencast live, so the audio doesn't skip. Cause I don't want the audio to skip on this one. And I'll do another one, though, and show you, go through these videos to show you the difference between the traffic. So, again, you can, you know, all these people who, who claim to be smart. And even though I'm showing you this, they'll still make jokes tomorrow as if what they say makes sense. Uh, can see that how you can see how they don't make any sense claiming that I was all regular traffic. And like I said, I was going to do the watch the videos, rewatch the videos and show you um, them, but I got too lazy. But I think so I'd rather do these, these picture ones and then I'll, I'll eventually go back and look at the other footage with you and show you the real difference between the traffic. So, like I said, I use 48 GB this month. What? Who cares? Why do they keep telling me that? Um, and then making me lose my train of damn thought with that notification. I know I was saying something about, so you can see starting from, I want you, whoever you are, whoever, wherever you may, however you ever, you may stumble upon my videos. I want you to see if you can see the difference. So that's why I'm going to do, end up doing a screencast live like this one, but with the actual footage to show you the way the traffic used to move compared to how it, it moves now. And just imagine how ridiculously dumb they look when they had a whole bunch of them. Every single one of them would come out and just sit on a corner. <laughs> I mean, it was just funny the stuff they used to do. And there go two men in a truck, and I want you to think about how many times we've seen him. And just think about how many times we, when we did used to see him, even at night, I would always say, there go two women in a truck. Now, he completely disappeared, but again, you know, that doesn't happen. Random buses like this on uh, What Are Rights and Freedoms Part 2. How completely disappeared. And look how what time look how he's out there at night like that. Or if it ain't night, it's about to be night. And I can tell you some stories about them. Oh, really good. I just, man, these videos right here that a lot of people haven't seen. And again, like I said, you know, they're lying. When people say they watch my videos, you know, they're lying because look at the, look at the views compared to the views that I have on the live streams. Only decent views are from the videos that I shared on the Cooper timeline. And look at the rest of them though. And again, if you want to understand this or go look at this video, it says understand this safety will destroy this freedom if we let it go look at that. And this is again just to show you the, the navigation apps that I show you in their dashboards. It'll show you the layout is exactly the same on the dashboards. When you look at their screens, you can see you can see the layout on these screencast lives that I do. Um, You can see the exact same layout. So if. And again, like I said, it don't make sense that they would need navigation devices, period, anyway, in small towns like this, especially if they're all from here. But you'll see the same layout of the grid of the map that they're using on these apps right here that they're using. 
and you'll see me go through it and show you exactly that. And then when, one of these days, I'm going to zoom in so that it's even unmistakable that you'll, and I'll take the grid. I'll do like a screenshot of the grid on the app, and then I'll do a screenshot of the grid on um their dashboards if I can get close enough. Some of them I have gotten close enough. I mean, you should have seen the Walmart one when I used to go to their dashboards, when I used to do the whole check the dashboards thing, you should have saw how many of them had it when we were over there, when I was over there by Walmart. And like I said, random buses like this, nowhere to be found at nighttime anymore, but they all had to do something at night every time or the day or all the time. But some reason they're, they're not out there anymore. With the Leland PD, that's the same spot he was at tonight in the last live actually. And that's why he just uh, um, popped up on the corner. And that's why he pops up on the corner like that at nighttime too, or used to, but for some reason he don't do it anymore. Um, Enterprise been coming out a lot lately, but still not as much as he used to. See this log man right here with the two sets of logs. He was another different log man I was just talking about. That um used to ride up and down the road just like the other ones. And for some reason, day and night, for some reason we don't see him anymore. There's nothing to do with to where he's headed. It, it, it's just straight country hick junk until like Myrtle Beach. But for some reason, all of them have something to do way down there with them logs and all the other stuff every day. And this is the thumbnail picture I told you about on the, um, what was it on? Um, on the last live I did, matter of fact, when I said you'll see the EMS in the FedEx, that's why you don't see this dude in the FedEx truck. Look at how it's nighttime. And look at how him and the EMS are together. And why, again, does it does the EMS even need to be driving around at nighttime? And Look at how you don't see that van anymore at nighttime, that FedEx van. You might see the FedEx truck once or twice, but for some reason you don't see this FedEx van at night anymore, but he always used to drive down the road. And this is a state trooper coming in, going into my neighborhood. Just like in the last video, and you can tell that it's not the same day because I was on a whole different corner. There's no way I could have took the picture on the corner and then ran down here this fast. This is on the dirt mound that I used to come sit on when I first come out and watch the intersection or the dirt mound that I've been sitting on lately and I ended on in last live. This is where that's at. And there's no way I could have got him that close up on the corner and then ran all the way over here and took a picture of him. That's just another day that he did it, but for some reason he doesn't do it anymore. And here's the Leland fire truck rescue that you used to see at the daytime that you don't see anymore. So again, I want you to as I want you to with your since, since you can see that we don't see him anymore. I want you to wonder. I want you, you should be wondering what's wrong with these people's eyes if they've really watched my videos, how they can't see that, that that we don't see them anymore. They've really watched them. It's just the many times that we caught the ARS, man. And here's the other Greyhound truck or Greyhound bus that I was telling you about. There's two different ones. They used to drive up and down the road too. And they know that. Well, they claim they know that because they watched my video. But as you can see, they didn't because he doesn't do it anymore. And you can see that he won't be doing it anymore with a group of people. Fire truck out at night. Remember that time I told you that, um, I was sitting on the median and uh, the fire truck just pulled up and uh, um, there were no lights on. And then all of a sudden his flash, his side lights came on. This is, I didn't even know I had a thumbnail picture that it was one of my thumbnail pictures, but this is the exact moment that I was talking to that I was telling you about and that he just showed up and those two lights on the side right there that are, that are on that are, are like bright on the side, on the top, on the end of the truck and um, at the top corners of basically the box part of the uh, vehicle. They weren't on, and then when he rolled up, he stopped right here, and then he turned it, and then he turned the lights on. There are other ones who, instead of falling apps, so they probably still fall apps on their phone. Cause I seen the EMS on their phone. It, they got uh, laptops that they follow, uh, so-called real, real crime um, notifications. And again, here's Blue Water Pumping, and this is him in a whole another vehicle, not the vehicle that I showed you a screenshot or, or a screen picture of, um, a screenshot of. Uh, in the daytime, going to the Circle K, this is a whole nother vehicle at nighttime parked at the Burger King. Because <laughs> he had plumbing work to do that late. He was out that late. He was out that late. All uh, plumbers work until nighttime and then go to Burger King. Hold on. Give me a second. And again, here's the Circle K gas truck that I was telling you about that, again, has completely disappeared from my videos. But all of them say that they've watched these videos and for the thousand times i'm sorry i gotta keep repeating this but i don't want you to see how dumb they look saying that they watch the videos and they, they can't see that he even at nighttime and daytime up and out of the road a group of people has completely disappeared but they haven't seen any change in the traffic 
here's the Papa John's guy and the Domino's guy that used to drive around. And like I said, this is how much the pizza men used to drive around. This is how every single one of them used to be out here. Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's. And I'm talking about like five different vehicles every day with a group of people. If not with a group of people, like you see here in, here in this thumbnail picture, with each other. <laughs> uh EMS at night at the top, still see occasionally. But look at Pods. This is another company with mad with mad uh, vehicles and mad, uh, you know, 18 wheeler says Pods on it, different things to say. How many times have you seen this? Have you even ever seen this Pods guy, period? So where is he going if he had all the other stuff to do? You remember I told you about Just Move It, who we saw today? This is him out at night. And he has a box truck, too, and I don't know why, I don't know where that box truck went. But he had a legitimate business dude that, that he just had to move day and night around us. But we don't see that anymore. Let's talk about the Culligan man who has also fallen off. Who also used to ride two or three deep and be at gas stations randomly whenever we pulled up day and night. And now, you know, Walmart, whatever, Lowe's. Now, for some reason, uh, he's gone. But, you know, some people don't see that. Here's uh, Mr. Reuter. I want you to think about how long it's been since you've seen him. Here's. The Southport PD, which is another police uh, uh, unit, I guess, or um, establishment, department, or whatever you want to call it, who doesn't show up in Leland anymore. I forgot all about the Southport PD. He's one of them that I failed to mention. And this is how, out of all the, and just think about how many ones that I did mention. And the ones, and there's still some more that I uh, have um escaped my mind and he was one of them i don't know why I, how i forgot about him as many times he was driving around day and night but think about how much you don't see him so him on top of all the other uh police people from the different counties that i did tell you about like wallace oak island uh boiling springs lake uh boiling springs uh Nevada, um who's the other one wilmington you know we still see him occasionally He's another one. Think about how all all of them I've remind I've showed you and remind you about. Think about how they had to be on the road for some reason, going to work, coming from work, whatever. But we don't see them anymore. So do, did did they stop doing police work? Did they all get fired? All the ones that lived in, let's say they lived in Leland, did they all get fired or something? So that's why they don't drive around in in uh, random police cars from different cities anymore, Mister Rotor Rooter. At Walmart. And that's what I mean by we'll go to Walmart. The fire truck will pull up. Two different fire trucks will pull up. Rotor will pull up. A dump truck will pull up. And here go Mr. Four Seasons with that um with that white truck pulling that trailer. That's why you don't see him anymore just driving up and down the road. Uh with that um because he's tired of getting his company name online. You still see four seasons uh, occasionally. And they have other cars and other vehicles, trucks and vans that are uh, majority of their coloring is blue. Mr. Dump Truck Man at nighttime. Why don't we see all these dump trucks anymore at nighttime? Where, why were they even out at nighttime? And where were they picking up dirt and dropping up dirt from? Like who was filling up, you know, dump trucks at nighttime? Because you got to get filled up at different places. What fill up places are open at nighttime for, for them to all have been driving up down the road the way they were? What happened to Patchmaster? Patchmaster, I guess, is well known. Haven't seen him since day one. You haven't seen him since way before day one. But again, another one who had a pickup truck, and I think he has another vehicle, but I know, damn sure know he has a pickup truck. And this vehicle has completely disappeared, but they didn't see that. Mr. ACDC Electric, who is randomly at the Skippers at nighttime, and it all also used to be up and down the road at um, or up and down the road during the daytime, completely disappeared. But again, they didn't see it. And was, but that other company, remember that other company I said, it says looks like the bootleg ACDC electric. This, this is the company I was talking about because the other one, they, they always used to get me confused. Or I used to get confused. I used to think they were the same company, but I saw the letter and I saw that they weren't the same company, but they kind of looked alike. It looked like they might be associated in some way, but um, I don't think they are. But either way, that's why you don't see them too much anymore. Saw the other one, but I think maybe twice, but uh, you don't see him too much anymore. Now look at Mr. Blue Funnel Man, who I was telling you about. This is him on the back row for some reason. And if you go watch these video, this very video right here, if you click on it, you'll see that he drove down this back road six times. At least, if not six, more than six, he just drove up and down the road. Him, the orange funnel man, the white funnel man, the one with the red, white, and blue marking, uh, marking 
Uh, who else was it? S.T. Wooten, even though we see him occasionally. Every single one of them will be driving up and down the road a million times. But we don't see that anymore. And I think I did most of them. Those are all the videos that nobody went to go look at. And n now look at how long ago all of this was. It started five months ago. So like I said, while I was doing this five months ago, none of these people had any idea these lives were even going on. First of all, they were on Facebook. Second of all, they didn't know about this channel. And nobody wants to nobody wanted to watch the ones that I converted because it, that wasn't fun. I guess only live streams were fun or something like that. But again, if you have common sense, you shouldn't make any comments about the change of anything if you didn't go back and watch all these other videos. Just because lives are, are you know, um, more interesting to people because they're going on in real time or whatever like that. You still should research past videos like this, especially if you claim to be Cooper listeners. You should go back and review all the evidence before you outright call somebody crazy and, and you know, try to say that you don't see the change in the traffic. How could you if you didn't go back and look at all this? And if you're going to complain about the hours and hours and hours, you ain't got time to do it. Then, like I said a million times, how do you have time to make an opinion? You see, I make sense and a lot of people don't. I make I make a whole bunch of sense, but it doesn't make any sense what they're going to what people are going to continue to lead you to believe. This is why Miss Frizzle right here used to pop out of my neighborhood all day, every day. We'll see if she continues to do that. Now, why she do that? Or did that? That's why she did that. <laughs> now, again, I'll do another screencast live. There's a whole bunch more of them that I that I'm going to show you who used to drive around all the time. And then. Um, I'll show you the actual videos of how they used to drive around with a group of people slow or to show you that they used to drive around with a group of people show, uh, slow. The damn trolley will pop up that would be driving around in uh, Wilmington would just pop up. So like again, for a thousand times, why you don't see the street sweeper anymore? Let me see something real quick. And then I'm going to show you this. Actually, let's go to that now. I'll show you. There's another place that I was doing live streams on. And again, I know people were going to keep coming in and try to call somebody crazy or whatever like that. So that's why I did a lot of these in private and then made them public. Then I think I started just going public, period. And look at the views in all these videos. And since we're here, might as well tell you. See where it says that's how much the Leland PD used to be out at night. This is bringing bringing YouTube live streams back and losers in Leland, North Carolina. You see that picture? That's why his weird behind would just be driving up and down the road all day. His random weird behind. They were procrastinating on their night jobs, knowing that it doesn't take them that long to do anything. But that's why they always used to do it. And that's why you saw uh, Scorpion and Stay Alert and all of them doing all that procrastination that they were doing with the cones and you know everywhere you had to be. They had they had work to do over there, Mister uh, Mister Blinky Blinky Lights and stuff like that. And here's the Circle Gate K gas truck that has completely disappeared from daytime in nighttime but again people with eyes can't see <laughs> how big 18 wheelers are and how they completely disappeared from from, from the shows or the lives and cvs that night again another one that was out at night and this is where they're doing construction work procrastinating again and that's why i called it a truman show because it was like a damn movie set they're all just sitting around not doing anything not trying to get any work done and all the work that they had to do with all the machines and the little bit of work that they had to do it would take maybe an hour max but I was standing out there for and just watch them and record them. And look at, again, the views. So that's how you know they didn't watch the videos. I like to see random stuff like this one, Another Day in the Life of a Real American Part 2. That's how you see random stuff like this out all day, every day. And here's Mark Kraft, and this is him leaving the Lowe's parking lot. And he used to just sit in the Lowe's parking lot. I'll go in, he'll just be randomly sitting there in his truck, too deep, or the van. And all of a sudden, he'll leave when I go to the corner, and this is him doing that on that very that uh, exact day. And again, you see him occasionally, but this is a close-up version, because last time, I remember, I showed you guys him... I don't think you can see him, period. But I said, there you go. 
But this is the guy that I was talking about. And we'll see how much you see him. Now look at Duke Energy again at night. Remember when I told you that Duke Energy, I used to think Duke Energy and Geico worked over there because they were always parked over there. Well, for some reason, he's not parked over there in that position every night. This is over here by the track supply. Um, him and Geico aren't parked over there anymore, but day and night, they would be just sitting on the side of the road, as random as they were. And again, I thought because they were sitting there, maybe they lived there, and that's where they parked their cars at. For some reason, you don't see him driving around at night anymore, though. Fire truck again, driving around at night for no reason. America's mattress, you see more than that. Watson Electrical is another one that used to hang out with Staler, ST Wooten, ECS, all the rest of them. Delta Contractor, which is one you, I don't think you guys seen, have seen, period. But um, he's in these videos. And they're always on the, on the side of the road procrastinating, doing stupid stuff. Or acting like, you know, not doing stupid stuff, but uh, procrastinating out like they got to be there longer than they actually did. Like, be places longer than they actually did. And when I started going up and recording him, that's why he started disappearing. We'll see him occasionally, but not all at night, taking all day long to do something or um, not in many um, multiple vehicles, even though I think we've seen him in a couple of his other smaller vehicles lately. WWAY3. This is why he used to randomly pop up. This is him at the Magnolia Green store. And he'll pop up at uh, Lowe's or he'll pop up at um, Wendy's and, that, you know, and do all the other stuff and do the stuff that all of these companies used to do that. They all used to pop up at fast food restaurants and um, Walmart and everything like that. And go Walmart again, leaving Walmart with a group of people. Now, this is the town of Leland car. You see this car here? It says town of Leland on it. There used to be multiple, there used to be at least five or six of them just driving up and down the road. Or if you go to Walmart, they'll be at Walmart. You go to McDonald's, they'll be at McDonald's. Um, and, and again, nobody can say that, that they don't have any more legitimate business to, to do because, first of all, I don't think they really do too much anyway. I don't even know what they do. They don't really do anything, but they just randomly, used to always be randomly parked at places. I think the last time we saw one of them in the lives on this channel was one of them parked over there at the gas station that they're always procrastinating at over there by the Wendy's. But other than that, there used to be a whole bunch of them in these type of cars. I think they had truck. I think they have trucks too, but I can't be 100% sure. But you don't see that anymore. And uh, again, they're from the town of Leland, so they should, they should still be driving around in the town of Leland. Let's see what else. That's why construction sites uh, start to get less and less. You know, I anything to do with them finishing up. I had everything to do where they were out there doing things at certain times that they didn't have to be out there. But because, again, they get their notification, they're from the community, they go out there and act like they have you know, to do little stuff that, that can wait to tomorrow or little stuff that they don't even really like doing just to be over there. And sometimes they don't even do anything. They just sit over there and act like they're doing stuff. And then again, you know, the, the top one, no rest for the weary. That's why the sheriff used to pop up in spots like um, Manor and Greens when we were out there. That's him looking at his little real life, real time, you know, crime alerts or whatever. And that's why he's random. And that's why he pulled up and sat in the Manor and Greens or used to sit up, sit in gas station parking lots, if not the Manor and Greens, the Circle K, for no reason. Just be sitting there with his car running, looking at his computer. You don't see that anymore either, but. So now we're going to continue with this series. Like I said, tomorrow will be day seven. Then I'll start doing different things with the series instead of just hanging around this time, this part of town. I'm going to go to different parts of the town. I'll go to different areas and I'll show you that people who are not used to me being on different areas well, that we used to see all the time and uh, or that we used to see all the time but we haven't seen in a while. You'll see once I go to another area instead of being around this area, you'll see all their random asses pop out again. Every single one of them. So like I said, why do people claim that they watch stuff if they if they didn't? You know, why do people claim to be smart when it's clear that if they were smart, they would have watched all of these things instead of, you know, having an opinion about it. So you base your opinion either on what people say or you go back and do the research and you go look back into things and you see if what they're saying is true or not. Now, since you've seen all the other people, which are not at all. The amount that I wanted to, I, I didn't even get through half of the people. There's that many companies times that I just went over through with the screenshots and stuff like that. There's that many companies that used to be around times three. And multiple vehicles and multiple cars having to be everywhere you're at. The landscaping, the, even the, the landscaping guys would just, you'd be sitting somewhere, they'll randomly pull up. Remember, they got to they got to do some landscaping work around wherever you're at. And again, if you go watch the other videos, you'll see how freaky it was, how they would always pop up and uh, no matter what line of sight vantage point you were at to try to keep eyes on you. One time I was in a McDonald's parking lot watching the highway and then their random ass just pop up and just jump out and line of sight vantage point and just start doing random stuff. 
And if you go back now and watch the videos with an open mind and pay attention to the what I'm saying and pay attention to what they're doing in the videos, it'll blow your mind how um freaky it is that they would you know how twilight zone-ish it is the things that they that they used that they used to do it, it, it would it will blow your mind it'll probably freak you out i know it freaked me out when i started really seeing what they were doing overall and individually it freaked me the hell out it really did so we're going to continue the series and I'll come back on here again. I'll show you another, I'll show you a whole, when I get enough time, I do, first of all, the the footage to show you the footage, driving and um, walking. I'll show you what it used to be like. And then I'll also go back and find some more screenshots of companies that I didn't get to cover today. And you'll see how it doesn't make any sense that they would completely disappear. If again, they were just regular people getting off work every day at the same time, having to be on the stretch of the highway that we're on every, all of them at the same time, having to be at the track supply random as hell at all at the same time, had to leave track supply at the same time we're leaving or leave Walmart when we're leaving, leave Lowe's when we're, we're leaving. You'll see it not only if that still happens. Well, actually, it doesn't still happen. I just showed you that it doesn't still happen, but you'll see that. Um, the rest of them, like I told you, are just leftovers and eventually they're all going to drop off and eventually you will not see any of these, uh, companies anymore. And eventually it might take even longer, but eventually it, this is probably gonna take real long, but eventually there's going to be a day when you're not going to see any of them out there doing what they do and all the stuff that I call out. And that's why I call out the way that they're driving and the way that they're driving all these companies that I showed you used to be right along with them driving the same exact way. Like I said, if you want to, go back and look at the other videos or just continue from here. But if you do go look at the other videos, you'll be, I'm trying to tell you, you'll be freaked out. And then it'll make it even more freaky to you once you see how they're not here anymore and how the rest of them are going to uh, drop off too. And that everything I was telling you all along, just like I've been reminding you lately, was all true. People walking their dogs, people checking their mailboxes conveniently, people acting like they have to be home or leave uh, conveniently when we're coming over there, not knowing how to get out of their own damn driveways and stuff like that. All of this has been recorded and documented. Not one thing that I have told you was untrue. Good night. And if you want your freedom, son.